Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast. Today, I want to address the topic of goals. We've all heard the importance of having goals, setting goals, and the joy of achieving goals. But I want to break down specifically the purpose of goals, the major reason why we set goals. You know, it all sounds good. We've all heard all the buzzwords, and we've read the books, and we've seen the videos. But but what is the reason why we have goals? I just want to briefly talk about how I got to this subject um, this week, and I've been spending a lot of time thinking of my own goals in the future and what I want to do moving forward in my own career and my own basketball journey. And, you know, I had some doubts, you know, in terms of how to set goals, like, you know, for long-term goals, for example, you know, why, why do we have all these goals? Because sometimes it creates self-doubt because we we see where we're at and then we see you know what we would like to achieve and we might get discouraged we're like well that's so far off you know based on where I'm at you know that just seems impossible and you know what I found is sometimes looking at where you're at specifically something like basketball in basketball for example there's no set path to get to where we want to be if, if it's the NBA for example there's no set path on how to get to the NBA you know we see guys in college who play for a year and then get drafted um, and then we wonder you know is this the only way to get to the NBA you know is this the process on how a player goes from college to getting drafted but we don't necessarily pay attention to the other players who play for two years, three years, four years, or come from other leagues, other countries, you know, there's a lot of paths to get to where you want to go in basketball. It's not like you go spend four years in school, take an exam, and you're a basketball player. You know, it doesn't work that way. So sometimes having those long-term goals and seeing where you're at can be a little self-doubtful because there's no set path in basketball. There's not a specific way that you can get there. Certain leagues you have to play in, certain stats you have to achieve. There are stepping stones, and it is a stepladder, but at the end of the day, it's the people who own the teams, the people who manage the teams that get to choose the players. And there's more players than they get to choose. So sometimes it is a matter of who you know, where you're at, and when and if you get seen. So it can be a little discouraging when we have these long-term goals and then we see where we're at and we're like, well, how is this going to happen? So one thing I've I've seen that really helps when setting goals is to look at where you're at in your basketball career. Like what league are you in? What team are you playing for right now or in the next upcoming season? And look at what you can do that next year to move yourself just even one step closer on the stepping stepping stool to where you want to be eventually or where you would like to be. You know, what, what can you do? How many points can you average? What awards can you win? How can you perform in your next season to get just one step closer, further along in your career? That's an important thing that you really need to have that laser vision on where you're at right now and then the next season, the next league, on exactly what you can do to take that next step forward. I'm not saying you shouldn't have long-term objectives, but sometimes in the moment the, they can seem so daunting that you need to have specific goals for your next season, for your next team, and have that be your major focus. So, um, but I want to talk about now what the purpose of goals, you know, why do we set goals? Because if you think about it, just goals in and of themselves don't serve any purpose whatsoever. You can have goals written down. You can have goals on your phone, actual written goals. But in and of themselves, they don't achieve anything. So why do we set goals? Well, if you think about it, goals help you align your actions. This is pure gold right here. This is what you need to pay attention to. This is where the magic of goals happen having goals doesn't necessarily do anything it can attract certain people circumstances opportunities to you which is important but if you don't take any action then it's not going to 
actually get you any further to where you want to be. So goals help you align your actions. If you don't know what your goals are, the actions you're taking don't necessarily serve any purpose. But if you have specific goals written out, but you don't take any action, you're not actually getting closer. So goals help you align your actions. So if you're a basketball player, obviously having goals means that you need to be in the gym improving. You need to be working out. You need to be improving as a player to actually move yourself closer to those goals. So that goal will help you align those actions. But in particular, you might have certain opportunities that come to you, certain teams you could play for, certain leagues you could try out for. And those would be the opportunities that you can take advantage of. Again, taking the action of actually going and trying out. And that could potentially move you further along in your career. So again, it's all about the actions. Without the actions, the goals serve no purpose whatsoever. So that was just a brief little lesson I wanted to give to you guys today on the importance of goals. Again, goals help align your actions. So if you focus more so on the actions you're taking and on the goals that are immediately in front of you, I think that'll help you propel your career further along than where you're at right now and really help you achieve all the goals that you've set for yourself. All right, thanks for listening today to the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast. Please like the page on Facebook, Hoops Hall of Fame. Please subscribe on YouTube, as always. Please comment, let me know what you guys would like to hear, and I'll talk to all of you again tomorrow on the Hoops Hall of Fame podcast.